Therapy dog breeds are some of the best support reliefs that can extremely change a person's life. There are a lot of studies that show having a canine in your presence benefits someone's mental or emotional state. Any dog can qualify as a therapy dog that is called for this role. They are usually gentle, calm, and trainable. They help decrease anxiety and encourage communication and aid children in overcoming communication disorders and emotional troubles. Therapy dogs help in all areas, including hospitals, seniors in nursing homes, and all school levels. Therapy dogs can be some of the most loving animals on this earth. Finding the right one for you may simply depend on the breeds you are most compatible with. They come in all shapes and sizes, whether it's a small chihuahua or a large Great Dane. Please stay tuned to hear a heartfelt true story. We have made a list which will help you with the most compatible therapy breed to be your companion. Number 14. Don't forget to push the like and subscribe button. Rottweilers are one of the popular breeds that are strong with a loving heart, smart and easy to train. A well-trained Rottweiler is calm and confident in their family. Despite their size, they think they're lap dogs and will try to squeeze in your lap. With their family, they are ready to play and ready to protect in a split second, which they get confused many times with their protection with aggression with their owners. The Rottweiler is very smart and adaptable to learn many traits. They have have worked with the police, the military, and hospitals. Besides being loving and a family friend, here this Rottweiler is trained to go to hospitals to comfort and bring smiles to patients in the hospital. Number 13, the Cocker Spaniel. They are known for the fun-loving personality and are social with other animals and humans. They love to be petted and cuddled up with a lot of affection and definitely will return the love back. That is why this breed is a great choice for a therapy dog. They are trainable and loyal and love to see new sights. This Cocker Spaniel loves to visit the hospitals to see patients without them seeing a white coat or having a needle. Instead, seeing a friendly therapy dog relieves anxiety and high blood pressure. Studies have shown concrete evidence having a therapy dog in your presence can be an excellent form of medicine. Number 12, Pug. They are affectionate, cheerful, and social with people and other dogs. They as well love a lot of attention. They don't like being alone for a long period of time. Among them, they are small enough and easily transportable that they can be placed on people's laps or on hospital beds with ease. They are easy to train. They have a calming influence on nursing homes, hospitals, and kids, especially with kids. The pug brings a smile, especially when they are having a difficult time reading. It helps calm them down and gives the kids confidence when they can read to the dogs, which helps their test scores. Number 11, Beagles. These dogs are loving, gentle, and affectionate. Great companions. They are not too aggressive and love to have fun and be around kids and adults. They are lap dogs that are very trainable to help patients' anxiety and post-traumatic distress disorders. While they are having treatments, it calms and relaxes the patients down. This story is about a stray dog that was found by a loving person who wanted to train this dog to be a therapy dog to comfort the elderly in the nursing homes and visit hospitals as well. Number 10, the Greyhound. Out of all breeds of dog, these dogs play by their own rules. They are large stature and lean build. They are beautiful, athletic, and friendly. This breed can be some of the best therapy dogs if you seek is one with a lot of energy. They love to play and run around and are sure to get out of the house for play of exercise. They are great for our veterans with PTSD. This Greyhound loves visiting this facility to uplift the staff when they are feeling overwhelmed and tired. This breed with the elderly will give them comfort either in their wheelchairs or their beds. Number 9, the Miniature Schnauzer. They are very loving, intelligent breeds that don't like to be alone. They mainly like to be in their owner's laps. This makes it easy to carry them along anywhere 
there you go. They love a lot of attention and can easily be trained. So when trained to do different fun tricks, they are taken to various places to uplift people in places of need and to put a smile on their face that makes them happy. They are a real people person. Number eight, the Labrador Retriever. A Labrador Retriever is a perfect fit for any family, group, or individual. They are known to be one of the most intelligent, dedicated, and trainability focused, and a heart to please people, making them the perfect fit for becoming an efficient therapy dog. They are medium to large size, and they are well known for their love and socializing with humans, a must-have trait in any therapy pet. This breed is calm and can sit for hours with humans. This Labrador loves to visit with the senior living communities and nursing homes. The Labrador loves to comfort all those around him. So don't forget to push the like and subscribe button. Number seven, the German Shepherd. This breed is widely loved and highly sought after. They are one of the most popular canine breeds and it is clear why. They are large dogs that are very intelligent and easily trained and willing to do anything for their owner once the attachment is developed. The German Shepherd is one of the top breeds for therapy due to their common balance and intelligence qualities. This German Shepherd visits staff and patients at the hospital for love, comfort, and bringing security. Also, the German Shepherd visits a reading center bringing joy and comfort to the children. Number six, the Labradoodle Retriever. They can please any family with their energy, loyalty, and affection. They love attention and a people pleaser. This loyal dog is gentle and loving and will always cuddle up to you when you are feeling down. They are also very intelligent and easy to be trained. This Labradoodle Retriever loves children and visits the special needs kids often. The kids were once afraid of dogs, but now they are not afraid and look forward to seeing and loving on the Labradoodle. This therapy dog brings comfort and fearlessness of presence of a dog and helps with their motor skills as well. Number five, the Basset Hound. They are charming, cute, and very sweet and very laid back. They have an extraordinary look to them with the long body and short leg. Besides that, they have a well-balanced nature. They are very calm, loving, and loyal to their owner and love children. They are intelligent to train, but best to be trained while a pup. This Basset Hound visits the patients at the Cancer Regional Institute. This helps pass the time while the patient is being treated. Just interacting with them or just sitting by their side, patients say it makes it easier going through the treatments a lot more bearable. Number four, the great carrying these. This breed is a big, fluffy, beautiful, gentle giant. They have a good temperament with a sweet nature. They love to be around adults and kids. They are strong, protective, and very alert to their surroundings. They make great family companions and will protect them as well. Now this therapy breed visits several communities, including the senior living, the military, and local hospitals. This hospital in particular is helping patients dealing with dementia and Alzheimer's. To many patients, this brings back memories when they used to own a dog and how much joy and love it brings to them. Number three, French Bulldog. This dog is a perfect companion who craves attention for humans. They are smart and easygoing and can learn tricks and are trainable. They make great for therapy. They are charming, loyal, and very friendly. With a sweet, loving nature, they love anyone they meet. They are a great size of breed that love to sit on laps that you can take and carry them anywhere anywhere with you. This French Bulldog visits hospitals and bereavement centers to help children in various situations like kids with various illnesses or dealing with losing a loved one. These dogs bring so much love and comfort. Number two, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They are one of the favorite family dog breeds that are the sweetest, friendliest dogs that show a lot of affection to their owners and others. And they have no problem meeting and bonding with other people. They love getting a lot of attention as well, they give it right back. This type of breed has a calm nature and they enjoy just laying on your lap. They are very smart and easy to train, which makes these breeds great therapy dog. This therapy dog loves visiting a hospital for kids. Just bringing this breed to walk around to each room to visit kids and staff, letting them just pet and love on the spaniel calms them, especially when they are feeling down and not being able to be home with their family and their pet. This brings them joy and comfort. 
discomfort. Here is another Cavular King Charles Spaniel visiting a high school to see the student. Visiting them helps relieve stress and anxiety. Having this breed around to visit brings calmness and reduces stress and leaves the students happy along with the smile. Number one, the Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever is one of the world's most beloved dogs and anyone can see why. They are the most loving, compassionate breed. They are so gentle they can carry an egg in their mouth without breaking it. They are good therapy dogs that have a sweet nature. They are obedient and they love others and are willing to please their humans. They can be work driven as well as fun loving. Plus they are often seeking to be the center of attention. Making such a great therapy dog, this dog is extra special. The breed visits the children's hospital for people having a difficult time being in there due to their diagnosis and dealing with other harsh situations. This other golden retriever visits the juniors in high school, dealing with different levels of stress and anxiety. This breed brings a loving and comforting atmosphere to the students. Don't forget to push the like and subscribe button. Caleb Story Caleb survived a head-on car collision which took the lives of loved ones. He had many injuries to the head and brain, leg, and arms which took a while to recover. He struggled with his therapy until they introduced him to a therapy dog named Colonel. With the love of his dad, Colonel, and staff, he improved tremendously. The motivation of using his motor skills by throwing a ball and waiting for the colonel to retrieve it brings positive reinforcement. Here Caleb is having a tremor, but laying next to colonel encourages Caleb to use his hands to automatically want to pet and hug colonel. This brings positive reinforcement for his brain and motor skills. He improved tremendously by walking and then engaging with Colonel by throwing a ball and waiting for him to retrieve it. This therapy dog Colonel has been life changing to Caleb, physically, mentally and emotionally, which made a dramatic impact on his life. It's a blessing to see how a therapy dog can bond and bring such joy and healing to those in need. Animal therapy, it's, it's what it deserves. to. Absolutely, let people see what it does for their community. 